Hey guys, Sean Hamlin with PremierGuitar.com. We are in Anaheim, California at Winter Nam 2016 talking to Perry from Ormsby Guitars. Perry, how's it going? Great, man. How you doing? Good. This is your first Nam show? It is, yes. And, and you're based in Australia, right? Yes, on the west coast in a, in a city called Perth. Cool. Now we've got Michael on guitar here uh, and, and he's playing one of your newer uh, import lines that are... Yeah. Yeah, so this is what we call our GDR line. It's, it's built by World Instruments in South Korea. And it's basically a derivative of our handmade custom line that's proved to be quite popular. We've got a two-piece alder body, three-piece rock maple neck, which is set in. It has our multi-scale fretboard, which is a 25 and a half inch scale to a 27 and a half inch scale. Stainless steel frets, custom hip shot bridge, we have them, uh, the guys at Hipshot here in the USA make those for us. Our pickup designs, volume, tone, coil split, three-way switch, etc, etc. Um, ebony fretboard. Did I mention stainless steel frets? Um, why don't yeah. you uh, explain a little bit why you chose to go with the, the changing scale, the 27, 25 and a half inch to 27? 27 and a half. Okay. Yeah. Is that because this, do you anticipate a lot of players will play down tuned with this on the lower strings or? When it all comes um, down to it, I, I started building guitars like that because it suited my condition which was carpal tunnel and I couldn't play guitar and bend my wrist at the same time. So I came up with this idea and then I realized that there's some other guys doing it as well but independently I, I developed my system and it helped my playing. From that though, we discovered that obviously the longer scale length, being a baritone scale length, even if we tune to E, it sounds magnificent, sounds fat, it's, it's monster tone. Um, and it gives the guys the ability to tune right down as well without getting that flubby, muddy sound that you would associate with that kind of detuned kind of metal sort of music, if you know what I mean. So in standard tuning though, explain a little bit more so that helped with your carpal tunnel because there was less tension on the lower strings? Because I wasn't bending my wrist. So if I angle my finger, the same as the frets, I'm not bending my wrist, I'm not using my tendon at all, and that's where I had all the problems. Whereas a regular guitar, I'd have to play like this. Gotcha. So I just gotta be lazy. <laughs> and the best thing is, if the, the fanning of the, uh, the frets is exactly the same as the natural wrist movement and arm movement of your arm as you go up. Cool. Now, when we came into the video, Michael, wh which pickups were you playing? You're playing the bridge pickup? Split coil on the bridge pickup? On split coil. Okay. Yeah. Why don't we have you play some other, like the full humbucker and then a couple other positions? So this is full humbucker. You want to play the middle position and neck, or for us? Split or not? Let's do both. So that was split, right?
cool. All right, so let's talk about the custom guitar. Tell us about this one. All right, well, I don't think that any one guitar can really represent what we do as a custom shop. Um, it is literally anything goes. It's whatever you want. Um, but what we tend to do is stick within certain styles. So we'll uh, build maybe 10 or 15 guitars within a certain body shape, so a silhouette, and then we'll customize from there. This particular one has a copper finish. That's, that's actual copper. We've aged it with various chemicals, and then we seal it to keep in that patina freshness, if you like. Um, this one is also swamp ash with grain filler, but we've used iron oxide, rust. Why not? Um, aluminium back plates, uh, set neck, three-piece Tasmanian blackwood neck with ebony pit stripes. But within the custom frame shop, or custom shop, we can do pretty much anything. Um, we do. We specialize in a lot of inlay work as well. I love doing inlay, but it's really whatever you want. If you, if you're, if you, if you could think of it, we can do it. Cool. What, what pickups are in this one? Uh, these are hand wound. So this one's a nunchucker, and we have a Delar Creme. So we make those ourselves in oh, our shop. Cool. So I, I assume they're pretty high output? No, they're not. They're not? This one is 9.3K, which wouldn't normally be associated with sort of metal sort of music. But what we do is we use an El Nico 8 magnet. That gives us a lot more oomph, if you like. Uh, it tightens up the signal a little bit. But it's also the pole pieces we use. So this side has the, uh, the alloy pole pieces, which add a little bit of grit to the tone without adding that hot signal that goes to your amp. And that way we can let the amp do what it needs to do, and that's provide the gain. My theory is we don't want a guitar to provide gain, a gainy signal. We want a decent signal that can then be amplified in any way we like. And that way you can still keep clarity and yeah, roll, yeah. roll back the volume a little bit and uh, it really cleans up. But your amp might be really cranked, cool. you know? Now, I, I don't remember if you said it, it's pretty loud in here. What, what kind of fretboard is that? Is it like Zerico or something? This is Pale Moon Ebony from Indonesia. It's, it's quite hard to get, it's a little difficult to work with, but it's, gee, it's stunning. You know, it yeah, just, it's, it's, really, it's really nice. Yeah, it looks great. So, why don't you tell us how much, like, this would go for, tell us the price point on the import line, and then tell people where to go online to find out more. Sure. Well, the GTRs have a US price of around $1,100, just a little lower than that and a little higher than that between sixes and sevens. So that, so that's the uh, sort of surf green one, yeah, the so bluish one we heard? Just under $1,100. Okay. And then this one? This one here would be more like about three eight, but it does depend on the spec. So this one here, about three eight four grand. Okay, where should people go online to find out more? OrmsbyGuitars.com, so that's O-R-M-S-B-Y, guitars.com, or OrmsbyGuitars on Facebook or Instagram. Cool, thanks Perry, Thank thanks you. Michael. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.